Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. Welcome to part 3 of building a mock from start to finish and the project that I'm currently working on is the 2019 Townhouse Pet Shop and Cafe. So what I've done is I have created the first floor and I've also created the floor of the second floor. This is a half modular building built as a corner build. The mode of access that I've chosen are ladders running from the ground floor to the second floor but these are really wide ladders built from railing parts. Originally I did use stairs but it would just have too little usable space for the second floor that it just wouldn't make sense, it wouldn't be believable, practical or realistic and that's why I switched to the ladders and you can check that out in the previous video part 2. So in this part, what I intend to do is to build up the second floor. And the second floor is going to comprise of this section of the original build. So I have to take out all the bricks, deplate this and transfer it to this new floor over here. And I have to do the same for the other side, but I've also got to extend the build so that it becomes a complete building on all four sides with of course an open top so that I can accept the roofed parts. What I also intend to do is add a bit of decoration. Now, I added these windows over here on the side. This is the public side uh, because this is a corner build. So this is the modular side. Even though I use windows here, that was mainly to save on parts. But so just imagine this will be set against another modular building. This is the back of the build. This is the front. And this is the side of the build. And this will be a sidewalk. I do find this a bit boring, a bit simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out one window, reposition the three windows and put in identical pillars over here, which I've prepared. And I've also got this top edging, which I'll place on top. And that's just to give it a matching look with the top. And probably when we get to this stage as well, I will expand this to three windows as well. So let's start off with this and then we'll move to the second floor. So here's a really initial look at how this second floor will look like. So that's the front and this is the back. And now I have to build up the rest of the floor, but I also have to follow back the size differential based on the first floor over here. So I have to fit this over and I need to make sure that the white will stop somewhere here and the grey will stop somewhere here and this will be the retaining interior wall just like the ground floor. Let me just stop here to show you what I've done so far. So I have built that bottom section here. You can see I've put in that design and I'm now trying to match the top as well. And I've matched up the windows to line up. Don't worry about uh, these bricks over here. I will uh, fit in the Technic bricks later on. What I do need to do is to build up this area here. But I just want to show you when you're building such a building, this is quite unique in the sense that you're building a retaining wall between two what seems like separate buildings. You want to design and build it such that you're overlapping between each color, not only for this side over here, but also perpendicular in. So you want to interlock the bricks. Uh, at the right angles. So this will take a bit of uh, trial and error and you just need to always be conscious of the fact that you need to layer it and interlock as you build. This makes sure you have a very secure build because you do not want to have really two separate sections which can just come apart because they aren't joined together. So you want to do what I created here for this ground floor. See how uh, the color really contrasts and you can tell where they're interlocked. This makes the build very strong structurally, uh, which is very important when you're building such a build. So I'm going to continue building this and building up the layer so everything is level. What I've done here is actually to change the plating a bit. And the main reason is I don't have any other size plates in this particular yellow color. 
so it would look very weird it would either jut out here or there'll be a partial black here so i thought it'd be better just to keep this side consistent and keep this facade as it is and to keep this consistent as well and i'm thinking of doing the same here notice i have the white plates above but below this is dark tan i think i'm just going to change that to white for consistency i think that will look better uh, but this is what i've got so far now if i put it together hopefully we can see some consistency between the two levels they do match up there seems to be one odd piece here uh, i'm gonna see if i can make this better it really depends if i have the right bricks uh, to create this if not this looks pretty weird so i'm gonna try to add more uh, just so that it's more interlocked over here. Let's have a look at this side. This seems a bit better as you can see I've got two interlocked that looks a bit more balanced So I'll try that for the other side and once I do that I can Towel up this top over here, and I think I'll go with a consistent colored towel as well I might either go with all white or all gray, so I'll see how that goes. So let's do this first Here we have the back and this is the top of the tiling done. I've decided to go with two different colors uh, just to split them and I think I'm going to do the same for the ground floor. So I think I do have uh, pretty much success. Now I haven't really thought about access to either the roof garden which is this side over here or to the top floor which is going to be this side over here. And of course I have to extend it once again and I'll do that in the next part, not this part. I can put my little coffee mug 3D sign back here that fits. I will have to put the flower pots but I'm going to extend it so that it comes across all the way this way here. And uh, so for this video before I wrap up, let's uh, change up the first floor. Uh, that's to get all the tiling right and then I'll adjust this flower bed over here or this plant over here and we'll stop for there and then for the next video we will continue with the next two floors and here we have the planters added so what I did was actually to bring over the modified brick from the other set and put it side by side so i think that works very well so let's put this back together and just see where we're at at this point so besides the mess that i've made building this i think we're actually in pretty good shape i'm sure as i uh, review the build i will see some things that i think i need to neaten up such as i think i might actually make this more random uh, but that all can be neatened up later. Right now, uh, I'm just trying to get the structure out for the half modular corner style building so that it looks good and it looks like it's designed that way. And I think I'm pretty happy so far. Uh, you can see how this is going. And uh, of course, when we press everything down, I'm sure everything will look better. This is the pet cafe. It's going to be three stories high. And uh, this is just going to be a small townhouse, which is going to be two stories. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do access to the roof, uh, which I think can spot a roof garden, as you can see over here in the original build. So I might as well do that. I will try to create some kind of access for the roof. So assuming we put this on like this, I can put another ladder if I want, uh, probably just the regular molded ladder, not the railings. Uh, that I did and then at least uh, the minifig can access the roof garden so I may or may not do that I'll probably actually build up this side of the pet cafe first because if you think about it there's a lot of glass here and I would like to keep that glass feel so if there's glass all around here do you necessarily want uh, a mini fig to be able to climb up and then look directly in there. It's not much privacy. So I like to keep as much glass as I can for this particular build because I think that's the concept of this build. This looks really modern. This one's a bit more traditional. So I think in terms of the uh, way this building came about in my Lego city, this is obviously part of an older style building and the front part was demolished or maybe it was just renovated and rebuilt to make it look modern and that's how you get this split 
modern and traditional build within a same plot of land so that is pretty common anyway you see a lot of these linked houses or properties uh, such as businesses which have traditional they could be side by side or they could be one on top of the other so that's what i'm going to do in the next part which is the part four i will work on this top floor as well as the garden and figure out how i'm going to link everything together as well as to create the floor of the roof as well as the floor of this third floor well i hope you're enjoying this uh, building a mock from start to finish uh, this is actually surprisingly quite challenging a bit more challenging than i thought i thought it'll be a bit more straightforward but uh, it was not quite a bit of problem solving to go. I'll give you a summary at the end of the video or at the end of the series just to see whether it's worth it to go through this entire process and whether you should modify it in the same way that I'm doing so. Well, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as usual, if you've got any feedback, please leave them in the comments below. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Check out these two videos before you go.